Good evening from firefighter bonuses to an anti litter campaign. We're getting a better look at all the bills the governor decided not to act on the pocket vetoes. News 13's Natalie Wattis spoke with some of the people behind those bills to get their reactions. Natalie, these are the bills left unsigned without explanation. As of this afternoon, there are 21 pocket vetoes. The purpose of this is really to have parity with what the police do. Right now they have a special fund for recruitment and this is to encourage our volunteer firefighters to sign up to become career firefighters. That footage from a Senate Finance Committee meeting last month on just one of more than 20 bills already listed as pocket vetoed. House Bill 345 would have created the Firefighter Recruitment Fund and given signing bonuses of $5,000 to first-time firefighters. But now, that bill is dead without explanation. A similar fate for a bill to shake up the Game Commission. I don't think there were any surprises as a result of this pocket veto. It's disappointing, it's frustrating. Thousands, and I'm not exaggerating, thousands of people contacted the governor's office urging her to sign this bill. Jesse Dubell, executive director of the New Mexico Wildlife Federation, was an advocate for House Bill 184. He says it was widely supported, just not by the governor. Nobody expected the governor to sign this bill because in doing so, she would be deteriorating her power. But not everyone whose bill didn't get the final green light is confident they understand why. Didn't know. It, it did surprise me a bit, and I, I don't know why and uh, can't speak to that. But, yeah, disappointed uh, would have been would have been a really great bill for the state. Democrat Jeff Steinborn co-sponsored Senate Bill 182, which he says would have updated grant programs that help communities get recycling infrastructure. It would have enhanced the Keep New Mexico Clean and Beautiful program and would have started a statewide anti-litter campaign. This bill would have done all of that and then finally would have required all of our state agencies to collaborate together on these strategies. So, yeah, it um, would have been a real step forward. Now, those I spoke with today tell me they intend to bring their bills back again next session. Back to you. All right, thank you, Natalie. We reached out to the governor's office to get a definite final tally of bills that were pocket vetoed and to get an explanation for why the governor didn't sign off on them. We are still waiting on a response.